Hi, the interactive pop-up explanation for medical slides that you will learn today looks like this. Here we have three items shown. The viewer can click on any of these labels and the explanation shows. Then the explanation can be closed by clicking on the X button here in the corner. The same way if I want to learn about this, I can find details, then close, click here, find details and close. So it's a very useful and interesting way to showcase your diagrams. This technique can be used in medical presentations or any technical presentations where you want to point to different parts of a picture and provide explanation. The technique is surprisingly simple. I'll show you how to do it from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide and I've got this picture that I want to provide explanation for. I'll show you one interactive pop-up label. You can replicate the same process to create as many pop-ups as you want. First, let us say I want to talk about trachea. Let us go to the line tool and then point to that specific place. Of course, you can have the label right here as well. Let me go to shape outline and make it dark outline. And if I want, I can even have slightly thicker line. Then I'm going to use the circle here to place this button, which the viewer will click to find the pop-up explanation. So let me place this over here and then go to shape effects, go to preset and use this second preset called preset 2. Then you can write your number here. And of course you can choose any thicker font so it is much more visible. And you can always change the color of this to suit your requirements. Now we've got the button that requires to be pushed to get our explanation. Now the next step is to get our explanation in place. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a box like this. Let us fill this with a lighter color, maybe somewhere around this and then go to shape outline and make it a darker orange color. Right click and send this to back and then let us fill this with text. Now let me write my subtitle here. In this case, we are going to call this trachea because that is what it is. And let us make this a thicker font and then increase the font size and I'm going to place this over here and then I can write my text underneath. So here I'm going to say you can replace this sample text with your own text. And then I'm going to make the font size to 20 so it is easier for everybody to read. And then I'm going to place this underneath. You can of course add more text if you require. The next step is to select all of these, not this button, select only these elements and press Ctrl G to group them. Once again, right click and send this to back. And let us now create that X button. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and I'm going to place this over here in the corner. You can use your right or left arrow keys on your keyboard to place it exactly where you want. And instead of number one, I'm going to use X and here I'm going to use red color to show that this is to be clicked to close this pop-up. Now, all that is required is done. Now it's time for custom animation. Before I do the animation, I'm going to change the name of these two ovals just for convenience. Let us go to home tab, go to select and click on selection pane. Select this first button. Here it is called oval six. It is not a very intuitive name. Let us call this number one. And then let us select this one and we are going to call this instead of oval 11, we are going to call this one X. That is, on clicking this, we are going to close the first button's explanation. So that is what is the meaning of this. Let us close this. Now let us go to animations, go to animation pane so you can watch what I'm about to do. First, I'm going to select this group, hold the shift button down and select this X button as well. And then to both of them, I'm going to give a simple fade in animation. Now this entrance animation needs to be triggered by a click of this oval, which means we are going to choose the first animation and say this happens on the trigger of, on click of number one here. If you remember, we called this number one. So let us select this as number one. 
and then you click and drag this other animation down. So on the click of this, we will have this box and this X button appear. Then we need to have this box and this disappear as well. So let us select this and select this and give it an exit animation. So let us go to add animation, go to exit and make it fade. You can see that is how it fades. But this fading happens on the click of this X button. So select this and then go to trigger on click of 1X because on click of this, which is called as 1X, both of them are going to fade out. Now click and drag this down, job done. When I go to slideshow, on the click of this, both of them appear. On the click of this, both of those disappear. Click, close. So that is how you create pop-up explanation for your diagrams in a technical presentation. If you are a medical professional and you need to make a lot of medical presentations, then we have a useful resource for you called Medical Presentations Bundle. This bundle has more than 900 templates and a training that shows you how to convert boring text-based medical slides into visual medical slides. And we have tons of makeover examples of real life medical slides so you can understand this process clearly. This process training alone is worth the cost of admission, but we are giving this as a free bonus to our Medical Presentations Bundle customers. I will leave a link to our Medical Presentations Bundle in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and get more details about this useful product. In fact, for this product, we have the who's who of medical fraternity as customers. You can see that we have testimonials of a lot of world-renowned doctors. So it is a fairly well-known product you can click on the link and find more details about this product. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial called Medical PowerPoint Slides Makeover. This is the first example. Here we take a boring text-based slide and show you how to convert it into visual slides like this. It's a very useful video if you are into medical presentation creation. I will leave a link to this video right here on your screen. You can click on the link and watch that video next and I will see you inside that video.